Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Teslaverse. We're going to continue talking about Tesla. Um, I made a recent video on it that went over logarithmic regression. Um, you know, it also looked at under and over valuation, as well as statistically speaking, what is the best day to buy from, from looking at the open and close. Um, but now we're gonna dive in further um, and look at you know your average percentage return over various time frames and based on the day of the week, the month of the year, and the year itself. So if you guys like this content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn your notifications on so you can get uh, notified when I make a new video. We typically like to do a more data science, uh, quantitative analysis approach on the channel rather than your traditional uh, technical analysis. So I'd love to have you join. Also, check out the Telegram channel here, which you can find a link to in the description below if you want to discuss these charts. And also check out my website at intothecryptoverse.com. So let's go ahead and jump in. So, you know, in the last video, we showed that buying um, Friday and Thursday at open and then selling at Thursday or Friday at close or just, you know, noticing what the price was usually doesn't work out in your favor over the long term, statistically speaking. We know this is subject to change in the future, um, but what if we were to look at you know each daily close and look at what your ROI is, or your average percentage return over different time periods? So the first chart, and remember this is if you're purchasing it at the close. So this one shows that purchasing Tesla on Friday at close, so after it's already experienced its typical drop on Friday, um, or I shouldn't say necessarily a drop, but sometimes the, the move up on Friday just isn't as great as other days. Sometimes it is a drop, obviously. Um, but you can see that actually Fridays averaged out over the entire history of price data that I have dating back to like 2010. Um, you can see that on buying on Fridays, at close and selling three days later, three business days later, at close would typically yield you almost 0.9% compared to Tuesdays, which would be around 0.2%. Now, this actually does make sense because in the last video we showed that Monday and Tuesdays, if you're looking at say intraday trading, buying it open and then selling it close are among the best. So. The issue is that if you're buying Tuesday at close, then on average, you're missing the move up on Monday and subsequent moves on Tuesday. You're buying at close and then you're selling on Friday at close, which typically is, you know, Thursday and Friday tend to be the worst days. So your three day ROI in terms of your average percent return shows that buying on Friday at close and then selling three days later um, tends to work out better than any other day of the week buying it closed and selling three business days later. So I hope that makes sense. We're going to go through a lot of different time frames here. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you guys like the content. You know, this isn't, this isn't just like a, a fast money moon boy type channel. We really like to understand the investments and, and try to make wise decisions over the long time frame uh, so that you can squeak out more profits on the macro scale. So um, let's continue on. So the next chart shows the same thing but it averages it by month okay and this is over the entire price you know over the entire data set that we have dating back to 2010. so on average your three-day roi had you bought in january and sold three business days later so any day in january and and sold three business days later on average would have been a 1.5 percent return compared to december which on average is, you know, maybe 0.1% return. So it shows, you know, that January is the best month in terms of a three day ROI on average and statistically speaking, and December is the worst. Now this is not financial advice. We're just looking at, you know, past uh, uh, data to try to inform our future decisions. Um, so I hope this makes sense. So then we're also going to look at the average percentage return by year. So your three day ROI on average, if you purchased, you know, any day during this year and then sold it three days later, what would your ROI be? Um, you can see that there is a nice year in 2013 where your average percent return would have been almost 2%. And so far in 2020, your average percent return is almost 3%. With most years, um, you know, a lot more lackluster. 
but with you know some years like 2013 2020 and then you can even see like 2010 2014 2017 and 2019 um tended to be good years um it's also interesting uh to note that you know for for those who who follow the rest of my channel i talk a lot about cryptocurrency um, one of the reasons why I'm trying to expand into other asset classes for you guys is so you can understand that, you know, just because crypto isn't doing well doesn't mean the entire market isn't doing well. We know crypto did well in 2013 um, and 2017, but, you know, so far in 2020, uh, Tesla has been doing uh, remarkably well. And of course, crypto has as well, but just know that it's, it's good to diversify in general rather than just, um, you know, put all your eggs in one basket. Um, so now we're just gonna now that we kind of get the get the idea of the graphs we're gonna quickly go through a lot of different um, ROI time frames so this first one or the second one here is a five-day ROI uh, you can see in this instance that Monday actually is the best and Friday is the second best um, surprisingly because you know if you buy Friday at close and then sell the next Friday at close um, you're actually up a little bit you know maybe almost 1.1% compared to doing it Monday at close to the following Monday at close at around 1.25%. Again, if you look at historical data, you can see that even a five day ROI January is the best time. Um, so this is basically looking at just a week, five business days and December is among the worst, but August is actually the worst um, in terms of a five day ROI on average with actually a negative uh, return on average. And then looking at years, you can see um, pretty similar to the three day ROI, but um, 2010 is, is a bit higher this time. And then 2013 and 2020, you know, obviously take the cake. Now let's look at a seven day ROI. This shows that Friday is by far the best. So, and I think part of this is because you're buying Friday at close. So you're buying after the major, you know, drops that might happen on Thursday and Friday. And then you're selling seven business days later. If you were to sell five business days later, you would just be selling on Friday at close. But Friday is typically the, the worst day, so you want to avoid that. So then by selling seven days later, you're selling on Tuesday at close, which is among one of the best days. So it shows you, and then Thursday makes sense too because you're selling Monday at close, um, like over a week later. Um, so Thursday and Friday are, are best when looking at a seven day ROI because it takes advantage of the fact that you're you're buying after some of the worst days and then you're selling after some of the best. Um, this again shows your average percent return um, by month. Again, August really isn't that great. It kind of goes along with a saying, you know, sell in May and go away and then look back to, to reinvest in December. Um, you can see that starting in May, your seven day ROI really does drop off. Um, so there is some, you know, there is some merit to the saying, I guess. You can also look at, at the year. The year stuff isn't as, as important, I think, but I just included it for completeness. Uh, here's your 14-day ROI. Again, Friday is the best. Um, and Monday is the worst, interesting enough. So this is if you're buying and then selling 14 days later. Um, here you can also see that general trend that it kind of peaks in May in terms of your 14-day ROI. And then from there, it, you know, parabolically, you know, basically exponentially um, drops off and it even goes negative in September in terms of your 14 day ROI and then really starts to pick back up in October and November. And then here is your, your yearly, um, your average 14 day ROI averaged out over each single year. Again, 2013, 2020, obviously the best so far um, and 2010 also uh, coming in third. And then here we have our 30 day ROI. So we're getting into a little bit longer time frames. This is this, if you buy it and then you hold for a month, Friday and Monday at close are the best. Wednesday is the worst. Um, so what this tells you is this, you know, on average, if you're looking to buy Tesla and sell it a month later, then you probably would want to avoid Wednesday. Um, and clearly this is somewhat arbitrary because you could always, you know, it's not like you have to sell it exactly a certain amount of days later. In a future video, we'll look at the running ROI, but this is just looking at time denominated ROI um, in case you were going, you know, with a more systematic approach rather than um, something else. Um, this also shows a, a huge drop off in May in terms of the saying, you know, uh, um, sell in May and go away. I mean, you can see the average percent return is 11 percent and then in june it drops to four and then in july august and september it's around two percent um and this is averaged out over a long period and then in october 
it really starts to pick back up. So I, I think this is actually really informative in terms of looking at, say, the macro scale. Um, additionally, this is the average percent return over, over 30 days. And I think this is interesting because here, 2013 overtakes 2020. And of course, we haven't even finished 2020 yet. But if you're looking to say buy and sell 30 days later, um, now 2013. 2013 is the best year where 2015 and 2018 were really not remarkable by any stretch of the imagination. Um, finally, uh, we have the 90 day ROI. So this is buying at close on that day and then selling 90 days later. Uh, Thursday is the best, Wednesday, second best, Friday um, after that, and then Tuesday is the worst. So um, keep that in mind. Here, this shows you again um, it really is starting to drop off in May, going all the way down, and then starting to pick up um, as you get into the later months. But again, this is your, you know, you're, you're getting out into a three-month return on your investment. And then we finally have the years. I want to remind you that this is, is not your running ROI. It's time denominated. Um, so obviously, some of you are probably wondering, what is the running ROI, you know, unless if you, maybe you've seen it, I'll do that in another video. So if you want to, you know, if you want to see that, make sure you don't miss it, then please subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on. And again, if you guys like the content, then be sure to check out my Telegram channel, as well as my, um, my, my website, if you want to join the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. So uh, thanks for subscribing. Uh, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think, and I'll see you next time. Bye.